Hello, uh, welcome to a new video. This is another tier ranking, and uh, I'm sorry that there's ads everywhere. Uh, how am I going to fix that? Anyways, today we're going to be ranking every Mayo episode. This is my longest tier ranking ever. Well, my second longest was actually my first ranking every Mayo character. But... So, how this ranking is going to work, because I added a new one called Perfect Critic Points. Basically, alright, you get one point for story, one point for effects, one point for development, one point for humor, and one point for memorability, and a bonus point for irony. So, like, and so like if you get, like, all six points, you go to the perfect critique. But if you only, like, get, like, one point, it goes in bad. So, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to be... Ranking every episode from all seven seasons, the pilot episode, and of course, the spin-off spin trilogy, Mayo and the Pig. So, alright, let's get started. So, uh, like, okay, so, what's a little weird is that we start with Mayo and the Pig, the Mayo and the Pig trilogy, and the pilot. We Actually, we first start with the Mayo and the Pig trilogy, and then the rest of them are chronological order. Well, not chronological order, but, like, the order of when they've all been released, like, it's, like, you know, it's the, uh, release order, let me just say, it's just, like, in the order of where it goes, like that, you know, let's go, so, yeah, let's, let's just say that, alright, so, let's start off with Mayo and the Pig, so, <clears throat> okay, so, the first, first episode of Mayo and the Pig, the first part, actually. So, story-wise, it's uh, just basically breaking May out of jail. Like, it's not deep lore or anything. It's just a random episode. So, mm. but uh, but the effects, like there are some effects. Like, there's no like special effects, but there are some good one like there are some good editing something like that so yeah okay the development uh not really there's not really any development within that eh, it's not really so hmm. the humor the humor is on top the humor is top notch with this episode so yeah give it that memorability wise well not many people well to me, it's like probably a pretty memorable episode, so I'll say that. The irony, uh, the, I'm really sure, pretty sure there is no irony. So yeah. So it gets, so it gets two points for humor and memorability. No points for irony. Uh, no points for development because I don't really see any development. All right. Well, okay. Then story-wise. Uh, it's a simple story, like, no deep lore or anything, so, yeah. Which, oh, well, which is going to be constant theme because Mayo's Insignificant Adventures isn't really the type of show to have deep lore. Well, it, sometimes it does, so, yeah. The effects, mm, not big effects, though, so, mm. I'm going to give it one, okay, one, two, hold on once. I'm going to give it three points. Well, actually, effects, maybe we'll say, say, like, effects is, like, sort of, like, how the picture looks. And the picture picture looks pretty good. It's, like, horizontal recording, so it gains a point for that. Sorry about that, but, okay. Story-wise, I think the story actually does take a turn within this, so that's um, pretty nice. And, like, the characters, like, have their own thing going, probably a little bit. And, yeah. So... Like, it's probably going in good, like, to be honest. Yeah, I'm looking at this critically. So the story, uh, like, the characters within the story, eh, not any development, no irony. But it gains four, four points, just enough to be good. Alright, now here we have part two, Journey to an Old Foe. There are, okay, so let's start with the story. The story, actually, it's more of like one of the... Like, it's something like Lord of the Rings, which is what Mayo's Insignificant Adventures was actually inspired by. Like, within this episode, like, the story is, like, split between two, like, two different sides, two different side, 
I don't know, side to side to side stories like Mayo looking for the old foe, Zambi and Banana Man and Blue Air and McNugget trying to find their way back home. Like I I'll give points for the story having like diff having like different uh, events going on. I'll give it that point. Effects wise, uh, it's not well. Horizontal recording definitely gains a point for that, but no big effects. Not like any green screen or special special effects. Not any of that. Development wise, uh, like like there are some like there are some good developments. Well, not good, but actually there are some developments like Mayo breaking up with Pinky, which is probably for the best. To be honest, if you're asking me. And the biggest part is uh, Zambi actually helping because Zambi Zambi was uh, not really much of a helper helpful character. He was still a bad guy in season six, so it's nice for him to actually have true development throughout the story because Blueberry and McNugget is pretty separated. I'll give it points for those developments and story and development being tied together. I'll give it points for that. So yeah, three points. Humor. Well. It, it, like, the humor is fine, but it's not, like, on point. So I'm not going to give it a point for that. It's not not really any extremely funny moments like this one with Banana Man getting tied up. That was freaking hilarious. But not really, like, except for, aside from Cooper the Creeper saying I am useless, which is a bit, bit funny. Not really any good humor here. So, memorability... <sighs> I don't know, like, is it, it's not, not really memorable towards me, I personally saying, so, nah, doesn't gain points for that, uh, irony, uh, no, uh, there's no irony, but I guess it could be sort of memorable, so I'm gonna put it with Man and the Pig, like, like, the trilogy as a whole, like, is like the best, it's probably the best season in the trilogy, so yeah, probably good. Okay, Mayo and the Pig. So, all right. So this is the final uh, part of the trilogy. Here we have Mayo and the Pig. Uh, yeah. So thinking about this, like the story, like there are some side stories, like Blueberry McNugget, Banana Man, and even Pinky trying to find their way back. But then the rest of the episode is literally just a giant fight scene, which. There are some, like, there are some, like, good fight scenes, like, you know, this coat hanger fight, which was pretty creative a bit. The story, the story is more of just, like, uh, it's more of just, like, a giant fight, to be honest. But, hey, at least there, at least the beginning does have some sides, has some side stories a bit. So it makes it a little interesting. It gains points for that. Of course, effects. Like, it always get a point for effects for, like, horizontal recording because, like, that's nice. Very nice. Development. It actually has some pretty good development. Like, Mayo getting what he wanted and Floyd going with Pinky. Like, and the Zambi and Blueberry McNugget both becoming villains together. Those were pretty good developments. Pretty good developments throughout the trilogy. So, yeah. Game's it gains points for that. Humor? <sighs> Humor is debatable. Like, like the Matilda scream? Pretty funny. Like, it was memed. Like, my cousin memed it so many times, so maybe it was a bit funny, but... Mm. Memorability? I, well, in terms of memorability, and you probably can hear someone, my dog... Yeah, yeah, it's a usual thing in my videos. You can probably hear my dog because my dog is so loud. But memorability, the coat hanger fight is pretty memorable, just because it was it was unique and not happened. So this is probably going to be an extremely long video because yeah, I'm looking at every episode. Good, good lord. So humor, eh? Not not funny. Not really big funny humor, but. Yeah, good, good enough. All right, irony. Well, it's ironic because Mayo's the main character and he didn't really get the good ending. Well, the villains did, because I guess that's the irony. Like it's usually the 
villains getting the bad ending, the heroes getting the good ending, but it was completely reversed. Even Mayo is supposed to be the main character of this, but he gets the worst ending, so I get it, it gains points for that. So yeah, it's so it's just the humor is just so it's just the humor that doesn't make it like perfect, but otherwise this like would be perfect if it wasn't for the humor. All right. Chef Noodle, it, you, I've already talked about this going bad. It's like, it's the worst episode. Well, I mean, I, to be fair, it's like my first video, so, but still. Okay, now the first episode of Males and Significant Adventures. Memorability always gains a rank because a lot of, some, epi some episodes within the first season, pretty memorable. This one, I think, was memorable, probably. All right. Humor, it's not there. No humor. Development, uh, not there. Story, not good. Oh, there's no good effects either, so blah, blah, blah. It has memorability, and, uh... Mm, like, this is only bad because I can't go any lower. But, I guess. Like, it's, like, the only trait about it that makes it good is it memorable. It's memorable. Same, well, this one, so yeah, you know what, I actually, okay, you know what, I'm going to create a new tab, okay, wait, no, 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 okay, how do I change this, how do I change this, okay, there we go, I'm going to add a, wait, add a row below, okay, and the color of that, row, okay, you know what, okay, sorry if I'm, okay, delete this row, Right, this new is ter. Wait, what am I doing? Terrible, which is a uh, Z, because yeah. <laughs> and this one's gonna be black, so yeah. Let's see, it. Could you get get the hell down there. Oh wait, you can't really see it. Uh, yeah. Black, like it's black. Maybe it should be white gray yeah it's gonna be gray it's pretty does its job this one is immediately bad like it's not memorable nope this one uh debatable okay it's no not good story not good effects no no really no real development maybe <laughs> like it's just a random thing humor like okay the monkey could be sometimes pretty be pretty funny, but other than that, mm, well, he could be annoying and funny at the same time. So it's just let's just give him a point because it's humor, memorability. It's on the edge, really. Like, and there's this one thing I just can't remember some of the parts, but you can remember remember the main thing. So I'm not really gonna add that. So, irony, no, like definitely irony is not really gonna get much of a toll. So. Yeah, let's go. You're going there, boy. Okay, episode three. It's going to bad. Yeah. Okay. This one. Oh. Oh, boy. So, did it increase in quality? The story is actually engaging. So th that's a point. Instant point. This is where the quality much gets much better with the, se with the episode four of season one. So, okay. Story, it actually is engaging. Of, like... Memorability instantly gains a point because it's pretty memorable. Effects, not many good effects, but... Uh, well, just because it introduced, like, most... A lot of, like, you know, like, different recording... Different recordings being put together to make one big story. Uh, I'll give it points for that, so... Yeah. I'll give it points for that. Just because it uses a different type of effects that hasn't been used in the previous four episodes. Development. Mm, well, not big developments. It's mostly just people going after. Uh, however, I will give points for the development because uh, Squared actually gets a development. So Humor? Humor, not there. It's not really there. I, what just makes it good is that it's kind of new, so not really humor, but effects, yeah, memorability, yeah, okay. An irony, eh, there's not really any irony, 
So it's going in fine, but just but just the humor and irony is what gets it out of reach. All right, now with this one, it's okay. The story is actually development definitely gets a point for KD, and the story is actually different this time. Instead of like people just running away from KD, they actually the story is actually different. Nice effects, not really any points. It doesn't introduce introduce anything humor not really there either memorability it's one of my least no it's not really memorable but story and development de okay so it's going in mediocre just because like the story and development instantly gains a point but <sighs> eh, everything else no all right now chef noodle moves out i'm pretty sure it gets memorability because it's the it's Zambi's debut episode, and <laughs> introduces Bab the Bat, of course, which usually at first was a side character, but now he just sort of became a meme for character blandness, so, okay. So, story is, uh, the de development, I mean, Mayo does develop a little, like, the de development, uh, it's there, yeah, it's good, it's there. Alright, story-wise, um, it's different. Yeah, it's definitely different. So, the story is different. So, there we go. Uh, humor, no humor. Uh, memorability. Yeah, I guess it gains a point. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, it's going in fine. Yeah. Okay. Now we have Cooper's Mistake. Instantly gains memorability just because some of the torture devices is uh, could is pretty memorable. Like the freezing one, the first torture device, freezing. That is like memorable because it's one of the very few things I actually wanted to do okay do but mm, story <sighs> like the story is very simple so mm, but it's different maybe I'll just give the story a point because it's different effects not really any good effects no development not really there's no development in it humor uh, no, not really any humor, but story, memorability, and like the I think memorability as a whole is what saved this episode. So, yeah, but at least the story was different, so it gains an extra point. But still mediocre. Yeah. A fun day. Okay, the story is like the story is just it's is there's no deep lore, nothing. It's nothing unique. It's just going on a playground. That's it. Effects, there's no defects, there's no development, there's, there's no, not really any good humor. Well, but aside from Banana Man's tea addiction, but, eh. Memorability, no. Irony, no. Uh, but, just because Banana Man's tea addiction is a little funny, gains just barely a point to being bad. Like, it's, this is an exact definition, a fun day, episode 8, a fun day, is an exact definition of a filler episode. It's just trying to fill, you know, fill all the things together to make it, uh, hmm. Episode 9, Mayo's New Pet. There are development in this, I'll give it a point for that. Story is pretty different, like, there is a plot twist with, uh, Yoshi not actually being abandoned, he's actually being pet of blueberry mcnugget that was a that's a pretty good twist effects there's not really any good effects no uh humor there's no humor the humor's not there really memorability it's on the edge like it's yet again it's on the edge eh, irony no so i'm just gonna give a point for memorability because it could be memorable once the time comes so you're going in fine, episode 9. Alright, uh, this is basically a giant critic video, just looking at all my episodes and seeing if they're good, if they're bad. Just mentioning everything here to see if they actually get higher and higher or just stay at terrible, which our two beginning episodes didn't really go off the good. Alright, episode 10, President Squared. The story is incredibly simple, you just deliver a letter. That's really the entire story of it. it. Like, it's probably my worst finale ever. So, no effects. Development-wise, I mean... I mean, yeah. Like, 
I guess Mononame and Yoshi meeting together. It's maybe that's a development. I don't know. I'll just give it a point anyways. Humor, it's not really here. Uh, memorability. Mm, on the edge again, but well, maybe it's not. It's not really memorable. Like a squid, like a squid being president. Eh, nothing memorable. So just development. Like maybe I should give it. Well, I guess the idea of a squid being president is pretty memorable, probably. So it's interesting. So it's going mediocre. All right. Okay. Now we get into the much better episodes, like more high quality. This one, okay, like uh, they, like season two is basically the same thing. However, the only difference is probably because the episodes are much longer than before. But okay, the story here definitely gets a point for the story because it's a very interesting, like time travel. Like it's very unique, and no one has really done it before, so. Time travel, it gets a point. Development-wise, not. I don't really see any good big developments like Mao and Fred never really made up after fighting. So mm, there's no developments really, but the story is just really engaging, I guess. No effects, humor, not really there. Memorability definitely gains a point because that's pretty memorable. Time travel, so it's pretty mediocre, but. At least the story and memorability is what makes it good. All right, now we got back to school. Okay, okay, the story is literally school. Yeah, that's it. School. There's okay. The development here. Uh, Cooper going to school to learn. Not really anything interesting about that. Ugh. No, no, nothing interesting. So, okay, humor. Like, I guess Mr. PP could be funny, but, you know, I'm just going to give it a point for that. Memorability. Well, Mr. PP is pretty memorable because he's just, like, intentional cringe, I guess. And irony, no, not really there. So it goes in mediocre with its uh, counterpart, the first episode. All right. Mayo's cousin. Story introduces a new cousin. Uh, they just do things, and then he kiss, kicks him out. Pretty simple. But at least it's unique, so I'll give it that. Like, at least it introduces like a new character. A development. Well, there is development, like Mayo kicking uh, the red out. So I'm just gonna give it points for story and development. So humor. Red's not funny. He, he he's probably just my most annoying character. So probably not funny. Memorability. <clears throat> on the edge once again, but I guess I'll give it a point anyways. So getting three points. It's fine. It's fine, you know. Alright, this one, uh okay. Story's not unique. Like there is a bit of development, but not big. Memorability, no. So I'm just giving it one point because it's not memorable. It's basically the same ep it's basically episode three. But with uh a brother instead of a cousin. It's I basically copied my own episode. Imagine ripping off your own episode. Be that low. Our right, epic pranks. This is actually one of my least memorable episodes. Like when it comes to season two, I can remember almost every episode from that except for epic epic pranks because I really can't remember it. No, the story. It, it's just Cooper pranking until it's actually revealed that he had he had to. So I guess there's that plot twist. Maybe that gains a point. Development. Well, Cooper definitely doesn't prank anymore, so I guess there's that development right there. There's not really... The humor's not big. Like, there is that pop culture reference with Rick and Morty, but... Uh, it's, I'm pretty sure pop culture references aren't really funny until they're utilized uh, really well. Which, Mayo did attempt, which that episode tried to attempt with Pickle Rick, but... Hmm... Memorability, okay, but it gains story for gains points for story development and well, it doesn't gain memorability because it's forgettable. So it's going to mediocre. Here you go, boy. All right, all right. The magical stick. Okay, this is gaining points for story because it's 
it's much like Mayo and the Pig, where there's a bunch of side, where there's a side story, like Fred actually auditioning for uh, YouTube pranks, and Mayo actually helping y Yashalin or Yoshi look for a magical stick. Like, I, the story there, like, is pretty interesting. Therefore, making it a long episode. Effects? No. Development? Well, Fwed definitely learned his lesson about leaving Mayo in a magical closet of some sort. Humor? There's no humor. <laughs> There's, the humor is not there. No. Okay, memorability? It's definitely memorable because, like, who, who else looks for a magical stick? It's, well, aside from Harry Potter, but... Okay. Irony? I don't really see any irony. Like, half the time, irony doesn't even get any points. Because, like, irony is just a bonus point to get perf to get perfect. It's very rare for you to get perfect. So, S actually is for special. That's what... The reason why I put M for perfect critic points is because I think M stands for magical while S stands for special. So... And Z. Z is... I put Z for terrible because, well, Z is, like, the lowest letter, so... Alright, story, development, memorability, gains points for fine. There you go. Okay, Cooper's Mistake 2. It's a sequel. The story is not original. It's basically the same thing. Development? No development, really. It's just a bunch of things. Humor? Well, there's that... Well, that Justin Bieber song was... <laughs> it's actually a little funny, so I guess it gains points for that. Memorability? Like... I guess the episode could be memorable because it uses uses different torture devices, mostly, mostly that Justin Bieber thing, so I guess it'll go in mediocre. Same with uh, Cooper's Mistake 1. Big Daddy's Therapy. It's definitely a unique take on the story, and it does have a bit of a twist where Big Daddy's actually not in a therapist's office, but it's actually in a trap. So I guess there's that story. No effects, of course, because I only give points for effects if you're like any big good effects, you know, green screen stuff and all that. And I only give effects for like horizontal recording because let's be honest, horizontal recording is really great. All right, development. He does. Big Daddy does have some development. I'll give it points for story and development. Humor. The humor's not there except for that <laughs> song. Like that song could be a little funny. So maybe I'll give it points for that. I'll get help. Memorability, mm, on the edge, but I'll give it points for it anyways. So, and uh, there's not really any irony. So it's going in fine. There you go. Red's return. The story is actually interesting. It's more interesting than the original one. It's Mayo trying to figure out how to destroy Red. At least the story is engaging. There's no effects. There. Maybe there is some development with uh, uh, Chuck and Matilda actually realizing that their friend Red is just not just not good. He's just just a terrible friend. So I guess there's that development. Humor, the tomato humor could be a little funny. There's not not the humor is not strong. What am I talking about? Memorability, it is pretty memorable probably. So all right, it goes in mediocre. There you go. There's a lot of mediocre episodes in the first few seasons. At least, I'll I'll have to thank Conrad for at least like increasing the quality by season three. But right now we have to do the last episode of season two. Okay, season two. All right, Treehouse Horror. Um, the story is different because you actually find the base of Blueberry McNugget. There's that, there's, and the development within this is like Chef Newell gets fired, but then he comes back. Like, it's like that, you know, like, you get fired, you don't return, but then you come back. It's that type of trope that's pretty annoying, but, mm, I, I guess there's that develop, but at least that development exists, so. Wait, did I move my mouse? Oh, I was using, like, that, you know that one mouse you fro probably find on your laptop? I was using that, just because I was trying to think about the development and story. So, the story and development definitely go together. Gains two points for that. Humor? I don't see humor, no. Memorability can be pretty memorable because I guess the base, like, it's pretty different, so I guess it'll be memorable. It's going in, uh. Wait. Okay, it's going in fine. 
wait, wait a minute. What am I talking about? This this goes in good because the story development, um, memorability. Well, okay, no, it's I'm I'm being a dumb, being a dumb boy. What am I doing? Okay, I'm trying to see with season six, episode six, if I did anything wrong. Like story, good. Development, good. Not really any big effects, so no. Story good, development good, memorability good. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, I didn't mess up. Good. All right. Now the first episode of the last vacation. The story is engaging. Like it introduces Cop. It gets into deep lore about Cop, about Mayo eating Cop's pizza five years ago. Like there's at least there's that deep lore. This is when like the story actually. This is when the story in Mayo's insignificant adventures actually gets insane. Like this is like the best part. The last vacation is the best season probably because it introduces, it gives actually deep stories within Mayo's insignificant adventures, which would be revised in the later seasons. So the story is engaging. Great. There's not really any big effects. Development. Uh. Well, I mean, there is, like, I guess Mayo and his stance actually getting to, like, Mayo getting stance, I guess that's development, I don't know. Humor, I mean, there are some funny things, so, yeah, I guess the game's humor for that, so. Memorability, I guess it's pretty memorable, so, there's that. So, it gets four points. It's going in good. It's a good episode. Great way to introduce... Great way to introduce us. Hmm, okay. Let's see, let's see. Just trying to make sure I got it right. Okay. Alright. Wait. Okay. Wait, no, no, never mind. Sorry. I'm just thinking uh, about if I did anything wrong, but... Actually, I did something wrong with this. This is supposed to be good because it's like it does do different effects. There's that story like within like episode four. So it's this is going in good. I'm sorry. Oops. All right. Now the effects here definitely did something and the story is actually also different. Like it's just going after people. I guess there's that story with like uh, finding the scraps of paper, realizing you have to find discs, you know, all that. And effects, there it is, effects, yeah. Alright, development, uh, don't really see any development, no. Okay, so there, there's not really any big developments, it's just, you know, it's, it introduces us to how the story will go, so. Humor, there actually, I don't know, if, not really any funny humor yet, so. Memorability. Like, okay, like, like, there's no irony, but the memorability, like, that one fight scene, that one camera angle with Zambi and Rainbow, I, it's just plain iconic, it's like iconic imagery, probably because it's been revised multiple times within my channel and my cousin's channel, because it's probably iconic to both of us, so, there's that. Story, and, uh. Story gets points, memorability gets points, effects gets points, so gains three points, it's in fine. There you go. I'm okay, this is um this is already a half hour video. Jesus, how am I gonna upload this video? It's gonna be like my longest video ever because I'm just looking at each and every like fun fact, this is actually 69 episodes. If you're not including the pilot, there's 69 episodes. So I was like, you know, I'm going to include the pilot because I don't want to be 69 because people will make fun of my content otherwise. So I'm, so there's technically 70 episodes. Exactly 70 episodes. Okay. So there's that. All right. Now there's mind control. Um, a story is a bit interesting, like controlling side characters. That's uh, pretty interesting. Get rid of these ads. Jesus Christ. Why do stop? I don't want to see these ads. I want it to be my perfect video. Okay. Like, the story's interesting. Like, controlling side characters. Never seen that before. Um. 
no big effects, really. It doesn't introduce any effects. Development? Mm -hmm. Well, King Oink becoming a villain. That's, I guess I'll include that. Humor? I mean, like that loud screeching noises from, like, it, within the episode. I guess it's pretty funny. So, <laughs> because it's so loud, so I guess I'm going to include that point. Memorability. Don't know if it's memorable. Like I guess mime con I guess the mime control is pretty memorable. So I guess I'll put it in good, you know? Alright. Pinchy. The episode Pinchy. Okay. The story is different. Well, the story is a bit different. Like it go like near the end of the episode it goes back to Cop and Chef Noodle actually uh, realizing that some of their troops are going are like gone and they might have underestimated Mayo. They need to plan they try to come up with a future plan. So I guess there's that part of the story. Development? Uh, mm, ah, there's not any big development arcs. No. Like, I'm not gonna actually put any development. Okay, story is fine. Humor? Uh, I'm trying to think about the humor. I guess there's that bathroom joke, which usually potty humor isn't funny, but in that, but when it comes to certain cases where potty humor actually works, that that potty humor worked because I don't know. I guess Conrad's a genius in humor. Like he's not like he's good at special effects, but he's a true genius when it comes to humor. So there's that. Story gets points. Humor gets points. Memorability, I guess it gains points for that. So, it's going in fine. There we go. Alright, the dumb. Okay. So, the story. The story is... Well... It's basically a fight scene. That's the entire story, so I'm not really gonna give it points for that. But I... Get... But, okay. But I guess within the story, I guess it's when, like, uh, Fred and... KD broke their bones. I guess that's an interesting part of the story, but not 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 really a big one. So I'm not really gonna give it points for that, to be honest. So no development, no big developments. No. All right, so, uh, we're not doing good. Humor, I guess that uh, gay joke is can be a little funny. Like <laughs> like the stands actually uh actually getting lovey dovey with their users because that's pretty funny memorability i guess it's pretty memorable with the flogs the flogs are a bit funny like that's where the humor also comes from so is that so it's just a mediocre episode let's be real all right let's go all right the dumber <laughs> okay the story is different because it has only mayo and banana man actually attacking and they're just so yeah and the blood is actually just freezing. And the blood stand is just freezing people. So I guess there's that. I guess that's an interesting story arc. There you go. Development. Mm, I guess uh, I guess Thin Fo getting his revenge is could be counted as development. Let's I'll I'll just add to that, you know. Humor? Mm, it's not as big. Like the flogs like, the fog here isn't as funny as, like, the previous episode. Mmm, not really anything. No, not any good humor. Memorability, I guess it's pretty memorable. Like, like I, I guess a lot of these, uh, from, I guess, season one and three are, have, like, are the most memorable episodes, to be real. Except for certain ones, but, okay. Mm. So, it's getting three points, and it's going in fine. There we go. Alright, Slimmer Man. The story is interesting because it goes back with Cop. It goes back with three people. Only Blueberry McNugget, Chef Noodle, and Cop. Three of them don't know what to do because, like, they're almost in trouble because Mayo and his friends got, like, three discs out of three, which is pretty bad for them. And so they use the one of the discs to actually summon in Slimmer Man, which is unique in the story. It's actually unique, really. Development. Um, 
I guess... Uh, no big development arcs, no. I... No. Ah, just... No, it's just that I don't really see any big developments, really, so I'm not getting points for that. The humor... The humor's not really there. No, I'm not going to give it points. Memorability, definitely. Story and memorability, I'll give it points. It's going in mediocre, just because... If it wasn't for the humor, this would be in fine, but... Uh, I guess memorability is what gets it out. Alright, McBerry Bloom Nugget. Okay, the story is basically a lot... Uh, the story's not unique. It's basically like a lot of the other episodes. So, yeah. It doesn't really do any unique stuff. Well, I guess the blueberry stand actually does introduce something, so I'll give it points for that. Development. No big... There's not really any big developments, really. Like, not until, like, the later episodes. The two later episodes within that. So, no really big developments, now. Okay, humor, and there's not really funny humor, no. Memorability, I guess I'll give it points for that, so. Yeah, it's going in fine, sir, it's going fine. Recipe for disaster, that's a great thumbnail for, to put that. Recipe for disaster. Okay, story. The story is interesting, because it actually shows a twist. Well, even though we already knew from the start, but... It shows Chef Noodle revealing to his fr to Mayo and his friends that he's actually working with Cobb. That's interesting. So I guess there's that unique take on the story. Development. Uh, the development is uh, Chef Noodle turning on Mayo and his friends. I guess I'll put that there. Just because. And then... Not really any big effects. Humor? It, um, that Chef Noodle... He, Chef Needle humor is pretty funny, so I'll put that. Memorability, I'll also put that. So, it's a pretty good episode. Recommend it. For those, like, who's... Okay. Stan. Okay. The final episode of Season 3. Zoardo. <laughs> why did I do that sound effect? That's pretty dumb. This is why, this is why nobody talks to me anymore. <laughs> I'm so alone. Okay. Anyways, anyways, um, okay, can you, okay, the story here, pretty interesting, I guess, like, it introduces time stopping, and I guess it's pretty engaging, development, definitely does have development, with Cobb getting his revenge, humor is on point, like, the chicken humor, and then the piranha plant humor, the toilet paper humor, it's probably, probably one of the funniest episodes in Mayo's Insignificant Adventures. Which is saying something, because it's also one of the most intense. Like, really. Memorability definitely gains points. It's another good episode that you should recommend watching. Definitely recommended. Like, there's four episodes within the third season that are great. Like, very recommended watching. Great. I wish the Slimmerman one was a bit better, but... I guess it's just the humor and the development that doesn't really make it good. But okay, now we get into like the more, I guess, forgettable episodes. Return of Bad the Bat. Interesting take on the story. I'll give it that. With Chef Noodle, actually. Like, it was actually a mix. Like, Conrad wanted me to actually get Chef Noodle's revenge, but then I actually mixed that with the Return of Bad the Bat. So. The story is uh, pretty interesting. The development with Bab the Bat and maybe Chef Noodle is actually pretty interesting too. The humor, I guess Chef Noodle is like, <coughs> being a not being able to talk is pretty funny, I guess. Memorability, I guess it's memorable. Like It's going in good. It's like the good episode. It is a good start. Matilda's period. Interesting take on the story. It's an interesting take on the story. Development. Mm, well, I guess Matilda actually revealing he's not actually... She's just asking for the bathroom. I guess there's that. Uh, the humor. Matilda's not really a funny character, so... There's not really humor there. Memorability. I guess I give it points for memorable. Memorability. There we go. You're going in fine. Okay. Okay. Season... Alright, this, okay, uh, the triplets, 
Okay, the triplets. The story... I think the story is just basically the same thing as uh, Mayo's new pet, so not really anything new. There is development with the Blue Jays, like, much like the episode, like, Yashlin episode, so I guess there's that. Humor? Uh, no, there's some not there. Memorability? Blue Jays are not memorable. So, I don't know. I guess I'll put this in bad, but... Yeah, I'll put it, man. It's one of the... Is it, yet again, one of those filler episodes. Alright, and here comes another filler episode, The Missing Animals. The story... Takes a unique take on the story, like finding animals. I guess that's interesting. Development, not really any big development arcs. Mm, humor, nah. Memorability, uh, mm, no, not big any memorability. So it's going in bad as well. At least the story is different. So yet again, another filler episode. Cooper goes to military school. All right, now we're getting better. Okay, the story is uh, actually different and probably engaging. Development with Cooper and Big Daddy, I guess that's new, even though that happened a million times, but I guess we'll add that. Then the humor, not really any big humor jokes, no. Not really any funny. Memorability, I guess I would say this is a more forgettable episode, but Cooper going to military school, that could be memorable, so yeah, it's going in fine. With dad down there. Jesus. Now the fine board is actually very big. Jesus. Alright. Because <clears throat> it's like smack down in the middle. Okay. Okay. Mushy. Okay. Chunk Chunk's pet. Interesting take on the story. Like Chunk Chunk actually coming back and fighting for his pet. I guess that's interesting. There's some development. Like. Wait. Is there development? I don't know. I guess Mushy Moo not being part of Chunk, not being Chunk Chunk's pet. I guess that's development. I don't know. Probably not. Story and development. Humor. I don't know about the humor. Like, not really any extremely funny ones. Like Cop, like like Cop's episode or even Chef Noodles episode. Not any extremely funny episodes. Like, there's not really any. Uh, probably I can't remember it, probably. <laughs> Memorability, yes, I guess it's memorable. So, you know, I'm going to put it in fine, get, get in near. Alright, Mayo's Mistake. It's an interesting take, because, well, it's basically the same format, but it's an interesting take, because Mayo's actually getting punished. Development, well, I guess the development is just ending off the Cooper's Mistake, uh, Trilogy, I guess you would call it. Like Cooper Mistake 1, 2, and then Mayo's Mistake. I guess that's a trilogy. Like three episodes. Yeah. Okay. So I guess there's that development. There we go. Humor. Not big humor. Memorability. I guess it's pretty memorable because some of the torture devices is pretty unique. So I guess there's that. Okay. It's going in fine. Another fine episode. Okay. Then here we have... Uh, reading lessons. Alright, it's an interesting take because it actually, uh, <laughs> Cooper needs to read. I guess there's that. Development, I guess Cooper actually, uh, wait, Cooper doesn't never read. There's no development here. No, no. Humor, I guess, I guess, uh, it's pretty, I guess that, I guess that one scene where Cooper tries to read was pretty funny, so there we go. Memorability, I guess it could be memorable, but yeah, so uh, it's going in fine. Another fine episode, so many fine episodes. Like most of the fine episodes come from season four because they're just, they're just somewhere in the middle. Okay, Battle of the Feet, it's an interesting take because like uh, big feet and small feet just fight over which uh, music, like reds or blues music is good, which is pretty petty. Alright, humor? I guess that Ronald McDonald humor is, <laughs> could be pretty funny. Development? Well, I guess big feet and small feet make up. That's part of the development. Memorability? I guess the fight could be memorable. Mostly with that McDonald's thing. That McDonald's thing is what makes it memorable. So, yeah. 
He's getting four points. It's gonna be good. Okay, story is interesting. Element there, humor. Okay, so it's it's a good episode. All right, now the safe camping trip. It's an interesting episode because well, it actually introduces so much. So, like it may seem like at one point in the episode, it may seem like the story was done and over with. Mayo getting his food and they're going back to normal life. But it actually takes an interesting turn. This is what makes the story good. It actually sets up the fifth season and how the format is basically kind of going to act like third season. That's great. That's a great story part. Not only is the story different, but also also has a different ending to it. It's nice. Okay. Effects. No big effects, no. Development, I guess, Mayo, like, I guess Banana Man realizing that the modern life is much better than the uh, wild wilderness life is better, I guess. That's the development. Humor? Uh, not really any big humor, no. Memorability is pretty memorable, so it's going another fine episode. There we go. Alright. Now we have the Purple Stone. Probably the second best season, just because it follows this... Just because it's basically the format of the third season, but I guess less funny, probably. Alright, let's get them over with. Return of the period. Well, the story is definitely different. Instead of, like, getting discs to actually progress, they actually have to get little scraps of paper to see... It gives them hints to, like, their next location. That's an interesting take on the story. Which, yeah, it's sort of the storm. It's the same format with the third season, but at least it's different. Instead of using discs, they use cards to hint them to the next location, which would eventually build up to the big climax. This is that. Development? I... Mm, no big development. The, hum the only humor I could find here uh, was... But Auto Man actually trying to suggest that there's the thing. Okay. So, yeah, memorability. Yeah. Story and memorability. But it will gain a point for irony because it actually shows that uh, Banana Man has common sense even though he's supposed to be a dumb one. And Mayo doesn't. That's what's ironic about that. So, it's just going in fine. There you go. You're going in fine, boy. Going fine, boy. Boy, you're going in fine. I should probably not do that. Okay. Alright. Mushy Moo. Well, it's an interesting take on the story is because, like, like, they, like, Mayo and his friends actually uh, separate and do their own thing. I guess that's an interesting take, probably. No effects, of course. It only comes when they horizontally record. That's when you actually get points for effects. Development. <sighs> um, no big developments, no. Unless if you, like, unless if it's that, like, last scene where uh, Dr. Pink stops being normal and just becomes an animal. I guess there's that, so. Story and development, there you go. Gets that. Humor. The humor's not there, really. Memorability. Don't really remember most of the scenes, actually. I, I remember like the episode itself, like the entire purpose, but not many of the scenes. So just for that, for that, not getting any points. So it's going in mediocre. All right, a shady shack. The story is interesting because it actually, instead of just just being like, instead of just Mayo, Fred, and Banana Man just going on adventures, you know, like the usual crew. The usual trio crew. It actually introduces uh, KD to go on the quest with them, just like they did, just like we did for the third season. So I guess there's that part of the story where KD actually joins them. Effects? No effects. Development? Well, I guess Big Daddy uh, realizing he shouldn't even work for shady people. I guess that's development. Humor? No, it's not there. Memorability? I guess it's pretty memorable, probably. Well, I guess the humor is like when Big Daddy's actually doing his monologuing. I guess that could be pretty funny. So, it's going in good. Here we go. You good. You good. I only have like one enjoyable episode because like... The the quality of my uh, Mayo's Insignificant Adventure videos increases like 
a ton by the time, so. It increases a ton, so, yeah. Alright, the purple stone. I, I don't know, I like calling it the purple stone. It's, it's something interesting about it. House of the Bat. Interesting story, because Bab the Bat is actually a bad guy. Which I don't think has been done before with Bab the Bat. He usually was a good character, but now he's that. So I guess their development and the story is pretty interesting. So gains two points for that. Humor? Mm, the humor's not there. Memorability? Uh, like, I remember a few of the scenes, but I guess it could be pretty memorable, probably. So I'm getting it three points to be in fine. We're almost hitting the one hour mark. Jesus. <laughs> if I made this many episodes, oh boy, would this show just be running for a very long time. Okay. Chunky Chunk Cheese. Okay, story... Uh, like, I guess the story is different because instead of... Like, it's a usual format, you know, but at least the difference is, like, Banana Man takes uh, Chunk Chunk down just by basically uh, rap... I guess playing his music to him, which killed him, apparently. I don't know why. And the development, no big developments. Well, it, Cooper doesn't really develop, he just becomes a coward. That's really it. Okay, story, humor. Well, I guess that Rick rolled in humor is not actually funny. It's not, it's not funny, no. Memorability, I guess it's pretty memorable. Probably. Probably not. I don't know. I'm just gonna. Put it in mediocre. You're going to mediocre, boy. There's a lot of fine and mediocre episodes. Like, only a couple of good episodes, you know? Like, ten good episodes. King of All Oinks. Well, it's the same format. However, I guess... I guess KD's fight scene is pretty interesting. And, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wait, never mind. Actually, this episode is pretty interesting because, like, near the end of the episode, it actually showcases uh, how Blueberry McNucket actually got back. He used the Purple Stone to revive people, and he revived Chef Noodle to get get ready. As well as t telling Zambi and Red to get ready as well. Like, that's an interesting part of the story. I'll add that just for that last scene. Development. Well, Chef Noodle actually going against him and being revived. I guess that's development, probably. I don't know. Humor. I don't know if it's there or no. Memorability. I guess it's pretty memorable. So it gains three points. It's going to end five. Spooky Trawler. Okay. The story is interesting because, like, uh, Yashlin actually helps out instead of just being, like, you know, four characters doing one thing. It's actually now, I think, now I think it's probably, like, how many characters? Oh, wait, let me think. Oh, five characters. I'm stupid. Yeah. And the story is just basically them, and it's just basically the gang is in, like, a spooky trailer, and uh, they have to try to find the source, what, try to find who's, like, behind all this. You know, it's kind of like Scooby-Doo thing, but except of, like, unmasking people, they just kill people. <laughs> So, yeah. Okay. So, development. I guess Yashlin joining them. I guess that's development. Humor. I don't know if the humor is there, boy. I don't know if it's there. Just saying. <sighs> okay. Memorability. I guess it's pretty memorable. Okay. So, I'm going to give it, like, it's going fine. It's a fine episode. Alright, Zambi's building blocks. Interesting take, because instead of, like, taking Zambi down, like usual, they just, like, use Angry Birds. Like, a lot of the defeats, I, 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 I don't know about you, but a lot of the defeats within Mayo, within, the, within the Purple Stone is actually pretty creative. Like, some, like, people being scared away, people, like, like people, like, forgiving, people, I don't know, joining sides... People uh, being taken bound from Angry Birds, people being in a spooky trailer, people being rap battled to death. Like, a lot of the defeats are actually unique. I guess that's what makes this the season uh, pretty good. But enough with all that. Okay. The story is good. Development. Uh, not, I guess, 
Chef Noodle preparing his second recipe of disaster could count as development. Humor, not really there. It's not really good. Memorability, it's pretty memorable. So, one, two, three. It's going in fine, once again. And we hit the one hour mark. Jesus, there's a lot of episodes. <laughs> Alright. Okay, here we have uh, episode nine. The Chef's Redemption Arc. Oh. Well, it's not Redemption Arc. It's just the Chef's Redemption. Interesting take on the story because instead of, like, them fighting, it's actually them trying to talk their way through to make them, to make Chef Noodle not actually join their side. I guess that's an interesting take on the story. Development? Uh, I guess the Chef Noodle turning back to the good side is development, so there's that. No big humor. Memorability, I guess it's, I guess it could be a little memorable. There's just, uh, it, it's, I guess the overall episode could be memorable. I guess not, but, mm, I'm, either way, I'm putting it in fine. You're fine, boy. You're fine, boy. Okay. Oh, I thought it was gonna go lower. That's why I prepared for when it goes lower. The fine one. Alright, blue and purple. The story is interesting because it actually shows how Blueberry McNugget actually didn't wasn't part of Cop's plan because that's a pretty good story. Development: Blueberry McNugget actually turning back to the good side. Good development. Humor. Mm, I guess Fred's death scene, which is supposed to be sad, was a little funny. <laughs> and then Banana Man just saying, "Hey, I'm not stupid. I'm dumb." I guess that's pretty funny too. So I'll give it points for humor development story. Memorability, it's a pretty memorable episode, so it's it's a good like there's only like two good episodes within Mayo May well not Mayo and Big no, it's the Purple Stone. Yeah it's called the Purple Stone. Alright, now we're done with the all original five seasons. Let's get into the newer seasons called Mayo's New Invent New I thought it was Mayo's New Adventures, but it's just Mayo's New Insignificant Adventures. Mayo forgets his password. The story, pretty interesting. Well, even though it's like a pretty bad story, but at least it's interesting. It's new. It's interesting. No big development arcs. Really not. Like, we already saw Blueberry and the Cut McNugget turn to the good side, so not really any good big developments. No big humor. Not that, no. I guess it's memorable just because the setup is so interesting. So it's going in mediocre. Alright. Okay. Okay, uh, Mayo Spooky Conference, the Halloween special. The story is actually different because it introdu introduces us to, like, a Halloween story. Ooh, spooky. But then it actually just... It's, it turns to, like, them going into conference and then... You know, like the typical Halloween story. I guess that's interesting, just because it's a Halloween story thing. Development. Uh, no big developments, really. No. Humor. I guess that one fight scene, which is what the, what the episode most memorable about. Like that... Da, 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 that one fight scene was pretty funny, so I guess humor. Memorability. I guess it's memorable for just that scene. It's going in fine once again. You're fine, boy. And wow, we have a lot of fine episodes again. Alright. Okay. Episode 3. Jesus, this is a mouthful. There was a jar of mayonnaise among us in the refrigerator. Or just fridge. Yeah, that rolls right off the tongue, doesn't it? Jesus. It's just a giant sent. The episode name is just a giant sentence, to be honest. Alright. The story here is interesting because it's a video game parody, like my first ever video game parody about Among Us. So I guess the story is pretty interesting. Development, uh, I guess Mayo, I guess like everyone, I guess everyone usually has development. I guess K KD doing his uh, stuff, actually twist where he's the evil one. I guess there's that development. The humor there, I think the humor is just like, I guess what was funny about it is, like, everyone voting out Cooper the Creeper. I guess that was funny. Memorability. Well, it's a, um, it's a video game parody, so I'll give it a good... Uh, it's going in the good category for memorability. Let's go. 
Mayo gets in shape. Another stupidly requested episode. Alright, the story is interesting. It's basically a workout story, but Mayo becoming fat in the end. You know, that type of development. Like, just uh, becoming in shape, but realizing you don't have to be in shape. Like, I guess, give it two points for that story. Because it probably hasn't been done, not, has it been done before. I don't know. The humor... Eh, uh, no, the humor's not really there. Memorability guess the workout session is memorable i'm fine it's fine it's a fine episode all right return of the forgotten it's an interesting take on the story the insignificant realm actually exists for people who have died and aren't needed for any more episodes that's an interesting place because you know, you know like you know like that one amazing world of gumball episode where like gumball comes across like like a forgotten dimension like it takes that sort of same idea and makes it into an insignificant realm like that's a pretty it's a pretty unique concept oh so yeah a story for that is good all right the development uh i guess like the forgotten actually retaliating and actually winning i guess that's development the humor nah there's not really big humor no Memorability, and uh, new, okay, not really being memorable, well, like, wait, actually it is pretty memorable because the insignificant realm, so, you're going in fine, alright, the girlfriend, alright, I'm gonna give it points for effects because it's horizontal recording, the first ever episode to introduce horizontal recording, pretty good, give it points for that, story is, uh, actually, interesting, because it's Mayo getting a girlfriend, which we never seen that before, so... And the development with Mayo actually getting the girlfriend and realizing that... It, and realizing it's very difficult trying to, I guess that's development. Alright. Humor, uh, like Mayo realizing he should want... He probably wants a girlfriend. The humor is good, pretty... It's pretty good, I guess. Memorability... Eh... Well, yeah. There's no irony. Like, it's... It's a very rare occurrence. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a rare occurrence. We've got another episode in the in Enjoyable, The Girlfriend, with good story, a new effect, development, humor, and memorability. Makes it probably makes it near the near perfect episode. If there was some irony, much like this one, maybe this episode would have been in perfect critique points. But alright. Now we move on to the season seven, the last few episodes. The unwanted shipping actually does interesting story, like Mayo and his friends uh, wanting to stop the shipping trend. Like it's like it's ridiculous, which fits with Mayo perfectly. But at least at least Mayo's insignificant adventures is actually self-aware of the things that's going on. So yeah, effects with well, of course, the horizontal recording effects is going to get a point. Development. Hmm, I guess there is development like Mayo like Mayo realizing that shipping is really bad. I guess there's that. I, I guess I really don't know what the development I'm trying to see here is. The humor is pretty funny and don't no 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 my game no my friends ah! Ah! please no no, 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 Okay. Okay. Jesus. I thought... No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Alright, it's saved. Oh, thank God, it's saved. Oh, it's saved. I don't know what I did there that made did that. Oh, Jesus. Why did I... Whatever I did. Why? But the develop... But as I was saying, the humor is pretty good. Um, there's not really any big developments, really. Well, except, no, really, no developments. So, humor, and it's pretty memorable, so, it's a good episode. Alright. The, uh, not-so-heroic trope gains points for irony because it's actually, like, you're actually rooting for the villains this time. It's based off, like, the normal heroic trope, but actually unique. You know, there's that. The story's interesting as well. The effects, of course, horizontal. Development is like, uh, I guess, uh, 
Pinky realizing that being with the, that like being with anyone else like realizing that uh, mayo is very dangerous and I guess realizing that maybe being around Blueberry McNugget and Fwed is not that bad so story development humor like is there humor well it's pretty memorable irony memorability development story I don't think there is is much humor so but still but still it's a good episode because it takes like a normal trope and actually reverses it okay the plot armor it's a unique take because it actually introduces like that one meme that my cousin usually makes is that mayo has plot armor and then i actually made a deep lore story on why mayo has plot armor there's that interesting story i added to it where mayo actually dies for like a pretty long time so that that story arc i'm putting there there we go get that story arc and mayo become and it's ironic because the villains are actually fighting mayo it's, it, it, yeah story irony develop there is actually probably development like blueberry mcnugget and uh zambi probably trying to be good becoming anti-heroes is that development humor uh, not really any good humor, but still memorability, still story development, memorability, and irony. Much like the second episode goes in good with your brother. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. The first three episodes of the seventh season were pretty good. All right, now the OG cast. Hmm. Like it's an interesting story because um, Pinky wants to become an OG character, but is dissed so he actually tries to find a way to kill everyone on the show which actually kind of fails because they just come back within like the later in the later six episodes the last six so the story is uh pretty different the development with pinky actually realizing that uh, she's more powerful than them i guess there's that development humor not big humor no Memorability, I guess it's memorable for that. Eh, I don't see any irony. I would, I mean, I would say the irony is that Pinky actually becomes an OG character, even though she isn't. But that's not really the case, so. No. Alright, Cops Carnage. Okay, story effects. Like, the story is different, because it shows how Cop actually came back. The effects, it's good. Because it introduces, like, so many green screen effects. It's so insane. Development development like come on de development like like chef noodle standing up to his brother which he didn't do in the third season that development is great great humor like it's pretty funny sometimes actually memorable it's so memorable all right the irony oh, please irony please give me the give me the point give me the point what's ironic what's ironic about cops cards come on come on i guess let me hear it. I guess what's ironic about it is that, like, it's... Hmm. There's not really any irony, actually. We were so close to this one. I don't... But it's going in enjoyable, just because those other five points makes it great. It's great. Like, these three episodes are great and worth watching. Worthwhile watching. They're great episodes. Okay. Banana Man's Intelligence. Or right, a unique story with Banana Man. And the development with Banana Man as well. I guess there's those two. And the facts, of course. Horizontal recording gets point. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh. I just realized. Alright. The effects for these should go up here. Just because, like, the horizontal recording. I completely neglected to mention those. Jesus. Alright. Sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm just a giant dumbass, am I? <laughs> okay. Alright, Banana Man's Intelligence. Story, effects, development, instant points for those. Three. And then humor. Not big humor, no. Memorability, I guess it's pretty memorable. Probably. Probably not. But, I mean, it's a unique take. I mean, the ironic thing about it is that Banana Man actually becomes smart, even though people thought it was impossible. So, here. Alright, memorability. Okay. 
it's enjoyable. Let's put it that. Let's let's all let's all be let's 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 just be honest. Like, I think uh, well, I think a lot of the seventh seventh season episodes are great, the best ones to be honest. Development. If it wasn't for the humor, this would be perfect. I wish the humor was good, but it's, I guess not. All right, survival of the neuter. I guess like that uh, rape thing. Like, I'm sorry if I said that, but the R A P E thing was pretty funny. Probably a little funny. Like the story is interesting. It actually shows Chef Noodle being strong, and then development with Chef Noodle. I guess it's there. Effects, of course. Memorability, I guess it's pretty memorable. Like the humor there, yeah. So it's it's going enjoyable as well. Another enjoyable episode. Irony, and I don't really see any irony. If it wasn't for that, geez, there's always something trying to keep it away from perfect critic points. All right, there we go. Episode uh, Barry psychotherapy. Interesting take on the story. Like Blue Ray McNugget actually getting therapy and he actually has development realizing that he doesn't really need therapy he can just be what he wants effects of course it's not really humor's not good no not really big humor memorability eh i guess blue area man i'm getting psycho pair therapy could be memorable but it's good there you go all right now uh Zambi's Planny. I know it says plain, but I want to call it Planny because Zambi and Planny. I thought that would work. I guess it didn't. All right, the story is uh, the story is interesting. Like uh, Zambi actually wanting to become a uh, main villain instead of Blue Ray McNugget just taking up all the spotlight. I guess there's that story. A uh, development. Uh, this yeah, I guess the development with with Zambi. I guess. Effects, of course. I guess the Cheeto thing could be funny. Probably funny. Maybe it is funny. I don't know. Memorable memorability. There you go. So it's another enjoyable episode, personally. Okay. Now the last episode. So Mayo's last stand. The story is different because Mayo comes back, and they actually make. And the ironic thing is that Mayo becomes the main, like, the big main villain of his own season. How how many times would that happen? Alright, story is great. The effects, of course, is great. The development with Pinky actually getting to the top is great. It, well, not great, but the humor, I guess. I guess what's funny is that the ending is just, like, Mayo waking up from a hospital bed. Memorability? Because it's memorable. For the first time in forever. Humor. Okay. Alright, I don't know where the humor is. Okay. Humor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. For the first time in forever, we got perfect critique points. I can't believe how it went. Like, it went from terrible, from Chef Noodle, from terrible, to perfect critique in the final. It, it just goes to show that even even human beings have character development. Like, I started off, like, bad, like, really badly in the first one. But then came on top with the best episode. Like, May, like Mayo's Last Stand. It's a great episode just because it does so many things. It has a, a green screen effect for crying out loud. That's pretty good. If there's any last words I have to say, it's probably the aside from the Pinky episode, which is fine. Which, yeah, aside from the Pinky episode, Mayo's newer insignificant adventures. The final season is probably the greatest season, probably because there's a lot of enjoyable episodes. There's like seven enjoyable episodes, one perfect episode, one good episode, but one fine episode. But at least the fine episode is can be watchable. I guess people could be interested in watching it because the final episode. But there we go. It ends off ranking every episode from Mayo's Insignificant Adventures. Chef Noodle, you're terrible. Mayo's Last Stand, you are perfect. So yeah. How perfect of an ending it is. 
first episode being bad, the second and the last episode being good. Like that, there's no way, there's no other way to make a perfect ending like this. So, hope you enjoyed this video. And once I reach uh, this number, I'll be gone.